Hello everyone, my name is Devin Krauss, and for the past four years I've been trying to become an animator. If you're watching this video expecting a tutorial, then you're in the wrong place. But that doesn't mean you won't find something you might be looking for. This isn't a how-to series or just a bunch of random tutorials, although I might do some tutorials in a few weeks once I've had a little bit of practice. No, this is more of a documentation of my journey to becoming an animator. I will, however, be linking any and all books, online courses, tutorials, animations, animators, and anything else that I use in these videos. So with that said, welcome to an animator in the making. So, what's my excuse this week? Well, everything was going great on rigging. In the beginning, I got the queen fully rigged in two and a half hours and thought, aw, oh, sweet! Once the king's done, this is going to be easy. So the queen rigging went relatively smoothly. The only thing that I'd even consider hard was the fact that it, I had to rig all the models since she's not symmetrical. The only other issue I ran into was with the neck being too short on like the side and the side angle clips, but that was an easy fix because I just extended it up through the head. I knew once I finished up the rigging on both characters, I could move on to the rough animation of the dance. I also wanted to add some rigging to the eyes for blinking, and a little bit for some facial expressions. That way, I could elicit some emotions through the eyes instead of also having to just use the body. Because you probably noticed with these characters, the only feature they have on their face is eyes. There's no mouth, nose, ears, there's nothing there to indicate any kind of emotion. So I've got to really kind of elicit that emotion through a lot of body language. But what if you're just doing like a shot where the character's just standing there and you don't want them to like stomp off to simulate anger? Well, then you have to do some angry eye movements. So I'm gonna have to play around with that to see if I can kind of get a mastery of it. You can see this in a lot of cartoons, actually. If you go look at like any Mickey Mouse cartoon or Looney Tunes cartoon, there's a lot of body language there and even a lot of face going on. When like a character is sad, they just get like, their eyes are like empty, their mouth is like sagging, and they just kind of walk slowly. Normally there's music to go along with it to help you understand what they're feeling, but there's a lot going on with the character alone in the animation. Or look at like any Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes. Whenever he's angry, he'll kind of squint his eyes, he'll raise an eyebrow, start tapping his hand impatiently and say something along the lines of, of course you realize this means war. Or Donald Duck. He'll start jumping around and quacking really loud while yelling. Yeah, that's a very obvious sign of anger, but it's a way you can elicit it without having any mouth emotion because he's just jumping up and down angrily. The point is, you don't need facial expressions to elicit emotion. Of course they help, they help the people associate with that character by seeing the emotion helps them kind of just attach themselves to it. Be like, yeah, I felt this emotion before. Maybe not that extreme or anything like that, but it helps them feel that emotion. I'm trying to force myself to kind of play with these kinds of emotions. As you can see in this clip, I don't have anything even remotely close to it, but next week I'm hoping to have some too, but I'm first going to focus on the dance animation. What I'm hoping to be able to do is to just do some basic facial expressions, and if I have time, I'm definitely going to invest in some body language. Maybe some angry jumping up and down, some droopy arms, uh, some joy maybe, like clapping hands or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I do it. Uh, I haven't done anything like that before though, so I'm expecting it to be a little bit hard. I've never really just thought about like eliciting just emotion from the character, which would explain why a lot of my animations feel robotic and unnatural. They don't have the emotion on their face. I've tried to capture fear before, but even that feels fake. It just looks more like a shocked face than anything. Which, I don't know what to call, like, fear's face. It's like a combination of, like, shock, awe, maybe even confusion. And just, like, you just don't know what's going to happen to the character. They're afraid, normally, because they don't know what's coming. They're pretty sure they're going to have something bad happen to them, but they don't know what that is. I started by rigging the king's cape instead of his body first because I thought it would be easy. Boy was I wrong. The reason I thought it would be easy is because I've rigged capes before and they were fairly easy to manipulate. The problem is I wanted to use the new wind feature to save on time, which it definitely did save on time. Instead of having it done in like an hour, I had it done in roughly about 15 minutes. 
And that's just one cape, keep in mind, that took me an hour originally. I would have the whole model done in 15 minutes if I'd used this method. But I wanted to get a little bit of a background cape, a slightly darker one so you could see a cape behind it waving. I played with that way longer than I should have definitely. I'm probably going to move on from it and do the rough animation first, and maybe focus on the cape another day. Sure, it would be nice to have it done now, but you really just gotta move on and kinda do what you know in animation. I'm definitely not gonna just never try this again, but I definitely am not gonna just invest all my time into learning capes, cause if that's all I do, then boom, all I can draw is a cape. Yeah, great. I can go be a Superman or Batman artist for that one scene on the opening cartoon when they're on top of the building. Yeah, that's super useful. No, but for real. I do want to work on these capes because I'd love to use them in other projects too. But I don't want to make it the main focus because that's just such a small detail. Sure, if you mess up a small detail, a lot of people will notice it. But a lot of times for something like that, people are willing to forgive it. You don't want to just invest all your time into one thing like a cape and just make that your main thing. Otherwise, you're just going to waste time on something no one really cares about and the story itself with the characters will probably just in general suck. So I'm going to move on to trying to make the dance and see how that comes out. So next week I hope to have a rough animation of that, which by hope I mean I'm definitely going to work on this week. I wanted to work on it this week, honestly, but I couldn't get it done because I just kept playing with the cape. I couldn't move, move on from it. It just bothered me that it wasn't done. It still isn't done and it bothers me, but I'm just going to finally give up on it. I will say that's probably one of my biggest flaws is I just can't let things go a lot of times. I just look at the cape and it just bothers me that I never was able to fix it. But I'm just going to have to let that one go and come back to it on a later date. Probably not next week, maybe not even the week after that. But it will be something I'm going to put on my list of things to do this week, or sometime in this month. Now one thing I found interesting was the king was actually harder to rig. Not because he's not symmetrical, not like the queen. No, the king is symmetrical, so I could just flip some images. But it's because he has actually a lot more detail. He has all those armor designs, he has those armor plates, so that gives him a lot more layers. And originally when I put them together, I had them all as like one layer. Which, when I rigged it and started moving him, they started overlapping, the lines just didn't look natural. So I started breaking him apart and putting them on different layers. It looked way better once I did that. But a problem I ran into, which later I actually realized wasn't a problem at all, was his joints kept putting through the armor, they just start bending out. Because his arms were a much rounder shape instead of a very sharp angle. Unlike the original model, uh, it had very sharp elbows, so whenever he turned, he was like a very boxy. It felt so robotic, so that's why I remade the character how I did. Uh, I was originally going to go back to the boxy elbows to where they were very sharp, but then I realized something. Armor isn't supposed to be flexible. You're supposed to be constrained in it. So this actually worked in my favor. It shows he can't move very well in it. The point of armor is protection, not mobility. So I'm probably going to wind up, not this week, do not worry, I'm not going to invest all my time into this. I'm probably going to end up making another king model of some kind, where he's very similar to the queen. No armor, just like royal clothes. I do know that one thing I do want to make is some kind of sword for him, but again, that's not going to be next week, that's probably going to be the week after. So now that I have a general idea of what's wrong with the cape, I'm pretty sure I can fix it. But again, I'm not even going to fool with that this week. I'm going to fool with that maybe next week or the week after. One thing I do know I need to work better on is my time management. Because normally I just start editing my videos on Thursday, which is a huge mistake. I need to start earlier than that. I don't know why, I just put it off that long. So I need to A, post my videos a day early. That way I can get them out on time and not be like a day late like I have been the last three weeks and B, get more practice done in the week so I have more footage. Because a lot of times I just get very crude footage and I just take what I can get so I can get to that 10 minute mark because I want my videos to be 10 minutes or more long. This week I got a lot of the footage that I wanted. Sure, I would have much rather have king rigging footage and if I could help it, I would have loved to have a dance uh, reel too, like I promised last week. But again, you can only work with what you got and if you don't actually put the work in, you're just gonna have nothing. And another mistake that I make is just 
kind of setting goals for myself without knowing my limitations. I thought I could make the dance animation fairly easy, but for some reason I forgot I hadn't rigged the characters, which in my mind is a 10 minute process when in reality it's about a two hour process. So two characters, that's about four to five hours. And with my work day, that's about a whole day's worth of work. Last week I showed a rough animation of a new logo for an animator in the making. But this week I didn't do anything with that other than fix some timing errors that I noticed on it. So besides that, there's no new update on it. So just a recap of what I've promised you guys. I am going to work on the dance animation to have a rough done by next year. I then, if I can get the rough done, by if I mean I'm going to push myself and definitely get it done, I'm going to move on and then I'm going to keep working on the rough animation to get a smooth animation while also trying to improve my artwork on the cape and get a horseman concept done at the very least. I'd love to have a wizard concept done too, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Once I have those done, I really do think I could move on to making some other animations too. I'd love to do just kind of like some shorts of them doing something. I don't know what yet. Probably some sword fighting or anything like that. Maybe some jousting. Again, I don't really know what direction I'm going with this at this point. I know what I want these characters for, but at this moment, I don't have everything I need. I also need to work on my background art, so that's another thing I'll probably work on in the future. I do need to work with just a regular pen and paper in like real life too, so I might get some footage of that, not this week, but next week. So again, thank you for sticking with me, any of you who are watching these. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. If you want to know when I upload my next video, then don't forget to turn on notifications. And if you know someone who you think would enjoy this video, then please share it with them. Also, we have a Reddit page now, so please come ruin it with us.